Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Today we will discuss about important points of cerebrospinal fluid. As we all know, the cerebrospinal fluid is produced by the choroid plexus which is lining the human brain ventricles. In a normal human body, there is a balance between the production of CSF as well as the absorption of the CSF. The CSF is absorbed by the arachnoid villi and the CSF reaches the vein and it is drained into the cerebral venous sinuses. The total volume of CSF at a time is 150 ml but the rate of production of the CSF is 550 ml per day. That is the turnover is about 3.7 times per day. The normal pH of cerebrospinal fluid is 7.33. Another important point that you have to remember is the normal CSF pressure. It's about 70 to 180 millimeters of water. CSF pressure in the human brain is maintained by the rate of absorption at the arachnoid villi. The pressure at which the rate of production of cerebrospinal fluid and the rate of absorption of cerebrospinal fluid is equal is at 112 millimeters of water. Now let's have some more points. CSF rhinorrhea. CSF rhinorrhea is the abnormal flow of cerebrospinal fluid through the nostrils. Usually it happens after head injury. Halo sign or the target sign is seen in the handkerchief in patients with the CSF rhinorrhea. The central dot represents the blood and the yellow portion represents the cerebrospinal fluid. Confirmatory test to diagnose the CSF rhinorrhea is beta 2 serum transferrin level. Thank you very much. Now guys please tell me what will be the answer for this question. Total volume of CSF in the body is option A 150 ml, option B 250 ml, option C 500 ml, option D 750 ml. Yeah that's it.